Welsh businesses and owners have been protesting in Westminster, claiming many are going bust while they wait for banks to compensate them for missold products. On the day the issue was raised in Parliament by one Welsh MP, India Pollock has been speaking to one family who's lost everything. Three years ago, Jackie Bartels and her husband Adrian owned this 20-bed hotel in Carmarthenshire. Their living arrangements today, sleeping on airbeds in her mother's lounge. The business was a successful one. At its peak, they were organising around 100 weddings a year. But they lost their home and business after their local bank missold them a financial product when they took out a loan. Like many businesses, Jackie thought she was simply fixing the loan repayment rate. But when she signed up to the interest rate swap agreement, she didn't know the impact it would have on their lives. Adrian had a heart attack. Um, our youngest daughter was 10 at this time. Because of the shock of his heart attack, um, she got what they call reactive arthritis, um, which when a child gets stressed, it can attack. Um, so she got it from her hips down. So she was seriously ill for about 18 months. She's lost a lot of schooling and her education. Um, Adrian's father then had a heart attack and um, my mum ended up in hospital due to stress and sickness. So it had a detrimental effect right through the family. These particular financial products work well for many big businesses. The issue here is that the Bartels, like thousands of others, didn't have the product explained to them. If interest rates went up, the swaps would protect them from higher charges. But what the banks didn't explain was that if interest rates went down, the businesses had to compensate the banks, sometimes to the tune of hundreds of thousands of pounds. Martin Barclay is a former banker who used to sell the products. He's acted as an expert witness in a number of mis-selling cases, and he says Wales was targeted. It was seen as a land of opportunity. It was underexploited. There were high levels of debt, and there were also bank managers that were put under duress to assess these businesses and introduce them to the investment bank to sell these products. It was great virgin territory. Business owners have been protesting outside the House of Commons today, where the issue is being debated. The Financial Conduct Authority is running a scheme to make those who've lost out. But so far, only 32 of the 40,000 businesses affected in the UK have been paid. If we have found, for example, that in the consumer mortgage markets, something like 93% of mortgages have actually been missold, would we have allowed the situation in which there has been nine months between those findings and the situation that we now face? The Financial Conduct Authority says it hopes most cases will be reviewed by the end of the year. But for Jackie and Adrian, the damage has already been done.